So the tools used to evaluate a pedestrian access ramp include a smart level and a tape measure. So on our, on our smart level, we went and placed numerous markings on the bottom to help us in our measurements when we're evaluating a ramp. We have a 10 inch mark and the 10 inch mark is to help us to figure, see if the push button is within 10 inches of the turning space. The 24 inch mark helps us to measure the depth of a detectable warning surface. The 40 inch mark, 40, 42 and 44 are to help us determine if the height of the pedestrian push button is in compliance. 42 is the preferred height and we have an optional range or a range that we can allow 40 to 44 inches. So we have those marks shown up here. And lastly, we have a 48 inch long level. Is it truly 48 inches long? No, this one measures at about 47 inches. So just be, be aware that if you're trying to measure a space that needs to be four foot, like a turning space, then it should be about an inch longer, longer than this level. So we need to calibrate our smart level. Why do we calibrate? It is to ensure the measurement accuracy by, by uh, making sure the equipment is not out of, out of compliance. So when should we calibrate our tools? We have this uh, MD Building Product Smart Tool. This manufacturer says to calibrate this level daily if the temperature, if the level has been dropped or if the temperature has changed by more than 20 degrees. We live in Utah and the temperature can vary widely in a day or if you're in your car and then getting out into the hot sun, it can change the temperature. So it's best to calibrate this as often as possible. So we are gonna go through the steps to calibrate the, pro the smart level of MD Building Product Smart Tool. To calibrate this level, there's eight steps. First is four horizontal steps and then there's four vertical steps. The first step is to place it on a horizontal surface that is almost level. It doesn't have to be perfectly level, but it just needs to be placed in the same spot for each measurement. So after I place the tool, I let it normalize for 10 seconds and then I press and hold the calibrate button. The display will show Cal 1 on the screen. The next step is to rotate the level 180 degrees so the display is facing the opposite direction and wait for 10 seconds so that it normalizes. Why do we wait for 10 seconds? Because it takes a minute to get the reading and so we have to let it register. So now I press the calibrate button and it says Cal 2. The next step is to flip it over so it is upside down and the display is facing you once again. You wait for it to normalize and then push the calibrate button. The display will show Cal 1. The final horizontal step is to rotate the level 180 degrees so the display is facing away again. And while we're waiting for it to normalize, the one thing to note is that if it's not perfectly level the, and it's not level enough to be calibrated, then the tool will show three dashes on the screen when you try to calibrate it. So it's not, it's showing the Cal 1 and 2, so we are okay on this case. So I'll push the calibrate button and it shows Cal 2. Okay, next we need to move to the vertical calibration for the level. Where do we do this if we're in the field? It could be on a side of a building, a signal pole, a luminaire, or anything like that. Here we have a luminaire. So to start for the vertical, you place it against the it just needs to be placed, there's four steps and it needs to be placed in the same spot as we did for the horizontal. Place it on the, on the vertical surface with the vial towards the bottom and the display facing you. Then you let it normalize and press and hold the cal button and it shows cal one. Next step two is to flip it, flip it over so the display is facing the opposite way and let it normalize for 10 seconds. Then press and hold the calibrate button and it shows Cal 2. The third step is to flip it 180 degrees. Now the vial will be at the top and the display is still facing you or facing you again. Press, wait for 10 seconds, press and hold the calibrate button and it shows Cal 1. The fourth step is to turn it over, flip it over and the display is facing the opposite direction and wait for it to normalize, then press and hold the calibrate button and it will show Cal 2. We have now completed the calibration process for this level and it can now be used to evaluate pedestrian access ramps.